Hello, and this video is going to be about stops and how to program them. This route is from Marblehead, Massachusetts to Kansas City, Missouri. And we are going to stop in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, and also Indianapolis. We're staying overnight. These, if you have, if you enter, these are called waypoints, and this is the associated time that we're stopping there. So if there's zero time associated, it just turns into a waypoint, and that means the route will be forced to go through those locations. We want to add a stop. There's two types of stops. There's a duration stop or an, and a leave time stop. Leave time stop basically defines the time we're going to leave in the morning. So let's say it's 8 a.m., and stops, these leave time stops are floating stops, which means they are based on the time, the main time slider. So even though our trip is leaving for Sunday, we are going to, we're just going to accept the next day, hit done, and you'll see why in a second. Click on Indianapolis, it should default to the next day on Sunday, and we're going to set it to 8 a.m. again, hit done, and this is our search. Let's get the route. Now here it is. It looks pretty clear. Uh, incidentally, the way the app works is it shows the worst weather at top. This is called clustering when you have one location represent many. So if we zoom in, you'll see many different uh, locations expand and fill in the gaps. So you never have to worry about zooming in all the way to look at everything because it will always show the worst weather at the top level. So if there was a snowstorm in here surrounded by blue skies, it would show the snowstorm. As we can see, this is the, your departure time. And you can see, if we left when I'm making this video right now, the stop is set for Saturday morning and then Sunday morning. And if we go to Saturday, the day floats the next day, Sunday to Monday. And then, we're, but we're leaving about Sunday at noon, so we're stopping, we're gonna leave at Monday, 8 a.m. and subsequently on Tuesday at 8 a.m. Now, let's say you wanna arrive at a certain time this is a summary view, which is actually the details view, and it'll give you a, a detailed list of everything going on in your trip. It says we arrive at Wilkes Bar at uh, 4.52 p.m., and it's 317 miles, and we're leaving Wilkes Bar at 8 a.m. on Monday, and then we're arriving in Indianapolis 5.38 p.m. on Monday. We're going to want to stop during that time for lunch, so let's add another stop in between there. So we want to stop somewhere in here. In most cases, you're probably booking a hotel. You have a specific destination you're going to stop overnight. So it's best to do that in the search form. Maybe you don't know where you're going to stop for lunch, but you're stopping somewhere in the middle. And we're going to use a duration stop here. We're going to add a manual stop. Incidentally, if you're in this mode and you just want to cancel it, it this, uh, the button turns into a red X so you could cancel it. So here, you change your mind. Just tap it again, and it will exit out of that. Select duration and pull it down to, let's say we're gonna stop for about an hour. We'll fill it with gas probably a few times. Instead of adding like maybe three stops for gas of you know, 10 minutes each, which is not gonna to have too much effect on the weather, we just stop for an hour and 20, we have a lunch for an hour and maybe there's like three stops in there. I'm just sum summing it all up for this whole trip. So set stop. Now if we pull down the summary view, we could see we're gonna arrive in Indianapolis at 7 p.m. Now that's way too late for us, so we're just gonna Double tap the, this stop to edit because we want to leave earlier. And we're just going to pull this down a bit. And let's say we leave at 6 a.m. Oops. So let's say we leave at 6 a.m., about 6.05. And you can see this is interactive, and that puts us arriving at 5.07 on Monday. Let's say it's still too late for us. We want to get there early. Let's leave at 5 in the morning, and we'll get there at 4.02 with the one, one hour and 20 minute stop in looks like it's Lordstown, Ohio. Hit set stop. On these stops, you could drag them and move them. Here we're at Lordstown, it's, we arrived there at 9.25 in the morning, that's way too early for lunch, so we're just gonna drag it over here, and it'll update. That puts us at about 11 at Milfin, Ohio at 11 o'clock. We could still drag it. 11.30, Marengo, Ohio. And then it doesn't change the destination because we're still stopping for an hour and 25 minutes. So, and again, if you want to adjust the time of the stop, you have to edit it and you could adjust the time like this. But if you just want to move it, you can just drag the stop and put it anywhere. Incidentally, if you wanted to move and let's say you want to go do Finlay, you could do this. 
hit reroute, and it will keep the existing stops in place and give you a new route and new weather based on this stop. But we're just going to cancel that. Now, also, you can tap on any location. It will give you the details of that location. So click on here. We have clear blue skies because this is blue. It tells you it's the time we expect it to be there, time zone, and the end right hours, the wind and the temps when we arrive at, that, at Brookfield Center, Ohio. Let's see. Oh, here we go. click on this. We should have that should be light chance of light snow. Guess the wind, the Thames, and McDonald, Ohio. So that is how you do stops.